Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Ultra Chat Reviewers. In this video, I want to go over something uh, that's a little bit controversial in the news, um, and it's probably something that you didn't even know existed. So, the iPhones actually have a secret FM radio transmitter inside of them. Every iPhone I think ever created has this built into the wireless modem on every iPhone. Um, so. Basically, what this is is a free radio inside your phone that you can't use because Apple doesn't uh, allow it, so to speak. Uh, or at least that's what the FCC and other uh, people have been saying. They're urging Apple to basically enable this FM radio so that people can have basically a free radio uh, anytime that they need. And they specifically cite in this uh, article here people that were devastated during you know hurricanes Harvey, Irma, and Maria, and so they're saying that, you know, as a public service kind of thing, Apple should enable this. And they're also urging other phone makers to do the same. So here's the thing. There is an FM radio technically inside of your iPhone that you can't use unless uh, you probably have radio apps like Pandora or other ones that can actually tap into radios. But those aren't actually using the FM radio inside your phone. Those are going over, uh, you know, cellular or Wi-Fi. This is straight up FM radio. Like, an old radio that you would carry around, basically like that. So there are a few issues uh, with this whole proposition here. This guy, I guess his name's Pi. Uh, I don't know much about him, but it seems like a lot of people don't like him. Really what he's, he's advocating for Apple to enable, so to speak, this FM radio. And he thinks that it is as simple as, you know, a software update and all of a sudden everyone can have a free radio inside their phone. And I don't think it's that easy. Uh, in fact, I don't even know if this FM radio is operable, even if Apple did magically turn it on, because as you know, FM radios need antennas and they also need to be able to transmit uh, through the phone or through something. So a lot of phones that do have this enabled will enable it through the headphones and the headphone jack. So that cord that goes to the headphones would kind of be the antenna, so to speak. So uh, obviously that's not going to happen on any of the newer iPhones. And so this probably wouldn't work regardless if Apple could magically turn it on. It's probably not um, set up right. I mean, there's no app for this. There's no nothing set up for this. It's just kind of in the chip. And I'm not really sure why it's there, um, but it's just the way that the modems are manufactured, I guess. So it's there. You can't use it. And people are kind of yelling at Apple to turn it on when it's not Apple's problem to turn that on necessarily. And it's not as easy as these people are making it seem. So that's where I kind of have a problem here uh, because uh, they're really calling out Apple on this and, and other people. Um, but there was an update from an Apple spokesperson that says Apple cares deeply about the safety of our users, especially during times of crisis. And that's why we have engineered modern safety solutions into our products. Users can dial emergency service and access medical ID information, blah, blah, blah. They're basically just saying, um, that they've got other things in place. iPhone 7 and 8 models do not have FM radio chips in them, nor do they have antennas designed to support FM signals. So it is not possible to enable FM reception in these products. So uh, not entirely sure uh, what they mean by that. I guess they straight up don't have this uh, radio chip in the 7s and 8s, but maybe the older models do. Uh, that could have been something that they changed up that no one actually noticed. Um, but yeah, the other thing, they don't have any way to possibly get that FM reception or send it. Uh, well, I guess they just receive it. So uh, yeah, it can't really work. And Apple is not designing a phone to be a radio. They're designing a phone to be a phone. I understand Apple's standpoint on this. And I, I, I first was kind of on the side of them, like why not just activate it since it's in the phone. But after really thinking about it, it's just go buy a little radio, like a pocket radio or something if you really want one. Uh, your iPhone's battery is only going to last you a couple hours anyway. At least one of those you can run for days on like a D battery or whatever. So uh, it's not really Apple's problem to fix this necessarily. And I pretty much agree with Apple's stance on this, uh, that they don't have to enable it. And apparently they can't enable it uh, on the newer phones. So yeah, there was actually another uh, article posted on Mac Rumors earlier uh, by the same guy, basically with people saying, you know, this FM chip needs to be enabled, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but yeah, so that's all I'm going to share on that. Uh, you guys leave your comments down below on your thoughts on it. And then I did want to quickly touch on the iPhone 8, uh, and that is that uh, some tests show modest improvements in cellular network bandwidth tests uh, for the iPhone 8. So you guys can look over this yourself. And yeah, so they are slightly better, you know, than the other iPhones, as you can see, designated by the different colors. So yeah, that's that's good to see. I'm sure the iPhone 10s will be similar, if not better. Uh, so that is good to know. So that's all I've got for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.